Let us see. Maybe we have another Muslim. Uh, Hatim, how are you, Hatim? I'm very good, friends. Very good. Totally. So, what do you think about Palestine? I have a. Okay. First of all, I have a question for you, if you don't mind. Go ahead. Okay. Do you think Jesus, he was talking Aramaic, maybe? What does this have to do with Palestine now? It's not about Palestine. That's my question. Then we will go to Palestine. Well, he is God. He speaks all languages. If the disciple of Jesus, okay. they spoke, they spoke all languages. How about Jesus? In your books, it says, in Ibn Kathir, okay, very in, good. In Ibn Kathir, it says that when the disciple of Jesus, Jesus, he'd command them to go and preach around the world. They said to him, "How are you going to preach?" And we don't speak the language of those countries. But he said to them, don't worry, you will see. In the morning, when they woke up, everyone was speaking different language. So this is in your books about Jesus. So if Jesus, he made his disciple able to speak many, many languages, for sure Jesus will speak many, many languages too. Very good, very good. But, uh, like, I understand from you, like, Allah in the Quran, he's not like the same real God. He's not the same God. Allah is different. Maybe it's the devil, even. Right? Yeah, he is the devil. He, not maybe. I mean, the devil is not necessarily the person. The devil is an idea, too. Like, as an example, if I worship a stone, the stone itself is not the devil. But the devil concept is there, is about okay. misle misleading me. Okay, okay. But do you know, like, maybe originally the word of God comes from Aramaic? Do you know what is the meaning of the word of God in Aramaic? What does it mean? The word, you know? of, the word of God in Aramaic is coming from the word Al. This is Al. The rest, the H is not a part of the word. It's like for a musical purpose. So il al, no. and then in the old no. Aramaic, in the old no. Aramaic al, and then it became illa, and then became illa. But this is not Allah. Allah is two words. Yeah. A l. Uh, uh -huh. Hold on. A l and la. A l is a word meaning God, as we said. A l, which later became e l. Ah uh -huh. La is different word. It's it is the name. Of it is the name of the God. Additional to that, my friend, the name is not the problem. If you, if you change the name of your God, let us say, let us say you change the name of your God and you call him Elohim. Still, he is not our God. So you are a wrong idea. Do you think because of a name? No. You, the Lord, he said, from their fruit you shall know them. Your God of fruits is evil fruit. It's satanic. No, no, it's evil. But the Christians always talking about the word of Allah, like it comes from where? It's this originally because, the no, meaning of God. This is, this is, no, this, no this, is come, this has come after the occupation, 1400 years. The Christian, they went through hell and they forced them to change their language. They forced them to speak Arabic. They forced them to use words they use. At least they can survive. Even their kids, they stop using Christian names for their kids. So if their kids play in the street, Nobody will know that he is a Christian kid, otherwise he might end dead. So we know what happened there, and you know what happened there. Same time, I do not recognize your God to okay, be so to be to be a shaitan because his name is an angel. As an example, Satan never called himself Satan. You don't. You don't say, here, no, introduce myself, uh -huh. Satan, I'm Satan. No. So when we say Satan, this is what we call him, but he don't Call himself Satan. He believe his God. He believe he is the best. He believe he is a special. So it's not a name. If I ask you right now, you call your God Allah. Is the word Allah present a holy person or a disgusting person? Of course, holy. If Allah is holy. Then how he allow your sister, I'm not insulting you, just an example. He allow your sister to rent her private part for a few hours. 
Doing what? To rent her private part for a few hours. Uh, okay. What about this point, uh, Prince? Why, why, why you are jumping? But trying to find out if Allah is I'm God. Not. If your God, He allow prostitution and He promote prostitution, well, this is the God of the prostitutes. The true God, what he, prostitute? He, prostitute is a hooker. Sex for money. Money for sex. Hooker well, is not... This is not... This is not what? No, it comes from Shia. I was talking about no, this is about first of all, muta is a concept of Sunni and Shia. It is a verse in the Quran, chapter four, verse twenty-four. No, 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 it is in front of you. This is the Quran, chapter four, verse twenty-four. Yes, you speak Arabic. No, no, we as Sunnis, we talk. no, you speak Arabic. Yeah, yeah, says, I do. I know, I know, you are Sunni. No. You see it? So those who you enjoy their vagina, you pay, and the Muslim translation they try to cover it, they say mahar, they say etc. No, this is about the muta. You can open any Islamic interpretation and you will see Sunni and Shia agree. This is about muta and muta only. Muta mean sex of pleasure. So you pay a woman to rent her, to sleep with her. What, what? But it's, yeah, okay, okay, right, right. But it's not a problem for you, the Christian, so you can say it's a problem. It's not even a problem for why, you. Why, so why, is, why, why you are why, take it like it's a why, why it is not a problem? <laughs> In Christianity, it's very normal. There is no, there is nothing to stop you or there is no rules to hold you to not have different where, relationships. Where, you, where, you this this why? So where, why you, where you got this from? Where you got this from? Everybody know this. No, no, no. You are tell free. Me. They are no, no, free. You know, no. when you tell me, you mentioned. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. You, you mentioned. Everybody, my friend, don't tell me. Everybody knows this. Tell me where it says that. You mentioned. You mentioned a second ago. You say, "Oh, we are in Christianity. We believe in God. He give us love, but we are free. We are not like the Muslims. They no, are following that's the false. rules. That's false. Yeah. No, nowhere, nowhere in the Bible it says that. Can you show me the reference? No, I will show you another thing. What about no? The don't Christians? no 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 don't don't show me. You are showing me a false people who they are not Christians. You said in Christianity, Christianity is God teaching, not my teaching. So can you show me where in Christianity it says I am free to do whatever I wish? I can sleep around. I can be a homosexual. I can sleep with the children. Can, can you show me? You said a seconds ago that mm -hmm. we are in Christianity, we are free to do whatever we want to do. We are not like That's the Muslims false. following the rules. That's rule. false. That's you false. Say... I said, no, you are a stupid idiot like your oh. prophet. I said, we don't force people to believe in Jesus. People are free to believe or not. Christians, the second you say you are a Christian, you agree willingly to be part of the faith. To be part of the faith is to follow the faith. And what the faith is? The faith, I'm going to read for you a verse and I want you to show me something like it in the Quran. Is that fair? Okay. All right. In the Bible it says, there's no thieves, no drunken, no homosexual, no criminals, no evildoers, even drunk will not go to heaven. Can you show me that in the Quran? Oh, very nice. So you mean... Most of the people who they are claiming that they are Christians and following the Christ, they are not even a Christian. Not only that, right? Oh, that include all the Muslims too. So not the fake Christians and the Muslims. All the Muslims will go to hell because all of you are drunken, fornicators, thieves, and criminals. Wow, I found it. It's like the Christianity seems like Islam, kind of. What? Yeah. Okay, I, I just ask you, can you show me where in Islam it says, if you are a drunk, you will not go to heaven? You, you will not go to heaven if you are drunk? I just showed you in the Bible says that if you are uh, one of those, you will not go to heaven. In your religion, it says no. Even if you are a homosexual, you go to heaven. Is that correct? Oh, 
normally in Islam, it's not like take it like if, if someone do something against uh, the rules of the religious, it's not like supposed to go to hell and all this stuff. No, it's not like this truly. It's different. I'm asking you, if there is anywhere in Islam it says that a person who is drunk will not go to heaven. Truly, Islam is not extreme in the way you say so. There is no. So, so a second ago, not, you were accusing the Christian to be so free. Second after, it turned to be that the one who said drunken will not go to heaven is extreme. <laughs> Guys, do you see how, oh, how Hatim, he changed his position? A second ago, he was accusing the Christians. They are the one who have a free life. They can do whatever they want. Prince, Prince. Huh? Prince, Prince. Uh -huh. Listen, I love Jesus so much. I want to be Christian. But there is a No, you don't. You Bible. don't love Jesus. You don't even know Jesus. Prince, Prince. Okay, okay. I want to uh -huh. take Jesus as my God, and I want to love Jesus. I want to follow Jesus, God, the Christ. Okay, uh -huh. for example. But what about the verse? There is verse in the Bible, and I will tell you the story. Maybe I don't know the main words, but the story says about <laughs> there is a man come to Jesus and says to Jesus, says to him, um, he says, my good teacher. Tell me something I can do so I can go to heaven. And Jesus says to him, what, Prince? He says, don't say I'm good. The only good thing is the one God, right? Are you done? Right? Are you done? Yes. Uh, well, I Jesus, done, yes. well, Jesus I, not, he did not say why you are. He said to him, why you are calling me good? Why, Jesus saying to uh -huh. him, because are you recognizing me that I'm God? And then Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep, and my sheep they knew me. So Jesus said it clearly, he is good, and not only he is good, he is the shepherd of the world. So you are, an, you are as usual, as all the Muslims. You take a word, and you don't read the rest. No, no, no. He on. say, I am, he say, don't call me good. The, no, only no, the no, good no, thing no, no, no. From the Okay, hold, okay, front, I'm going to front everybody. If you can show me where it says, don't call me good, I will close my program. I will not come here. Show me. I think I told you I don't know the... Uh, so don't make things up. You don't make things up. People will laugh at you. He said to him, why you are calling no, no. me good? Don't you know that God, only God is good? So he's saying to him, how you recognize me? How you know I am good? But Jesus himself, if we go to John chapter 10, you will see Jesus saying... I am the good shepherd. He is the good shepherd. And the good shepherd is only God. For he take care of all the world. He said, the good shepherd laid down his life for the sheep, the herd. Uh, 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 uh. So Jesus, he mentioned it clearly in many places in the Bible, not only here, that he is, and Jesus says, the one who saw me, he saw the Father. Me and the Father is one. And I am the life, I am the resurrection. So all of this, you just notice there, he's saying to him, why you call me good? Like you, you call me, you call Christian Prince, he say, Christian, you are smart. I say to you, why you are calling me smart? Does that mean I'm saying to you, I'm stupid, you idiot? Okay, okay. It's in the way that you want. No, it's not up okay. to you. This is my belief. This is my faith. You don't divert it as you wish. So now if you say to me you are smart, does that mean if I say to you why you are calling me smart, that means I agree that I am stupid? But it's the same mistake again when you are talking about the things in Islam, like it's not perfect talking about... No, Muta no, no, I did not say, where is the, where is the non-perfection? Jesus, he just confirmed, he just confirmed that he is the good God. So you claim, you see, this is the problem. You, you claim to be smart. No, but, I'm not but, really. I don't did have you, did any you, Did you read the whole chapter, the I'm one not. you just quote for me? No, I didn't truly. Really. Okay, why you did not read it? I just uh, saw this verse. Someone speaks okay, about it. Okay, my friend, a human, being, a human being, a human being, a human being, when he reads something, shouldn't he go and check it out and see what it says? So if I quote for you right now a sentence, 
from a place. If I don't quote the rest, I might be confusing people. As an example, I can quote now a verse from the Quran. It says, no, there's no God. I can take the Shahada. Yeah, yeah. I can take one part I of it. Says, to... It says no God. Okay, I will take that part. The sentence, there's no God. Hey, God, I made you atheist. But no, the sentence doesn't say there's no God. It says there's no God, but Allah. So either I cut the story to fabricate a story which is not there, or I show the story as it is. So I'm just trying to teach you. So if you, in the future, if you want to see what the book is saying, go and read the book. Don't go and read an article somebody wrote, Jesus said this. Go check it out, otherwise he might be fooling you. Okay, okay. Very nice, very nice. But all the things that I understand from what you are saying, Marley, you mean that most of the Christians they are not even following the Christianity. That that's is not that is really. not important, my friend. The important yeah, is that that's not important. Let me tell you. Let me. I cry for nobody. Let us say there is ninety nine point nine of the whole world they will go to hell. Why I want to cry for them if this is what they choose? It was your choice. I'm not worried about you. You will go to hell too. I want to cry for you. You choose. So. This is not what makes Christianity true or not. It's not about how many. When Jesus have only 12 disciples, that does not change when Jesus have 3 uh, a billion Christians. In fact, it was way better before because it was the Christians at that time. They were more discriminated and only true Christians stay Christians. Today, people, they go to church just as a social. You know, they say they wear a cross, but they don't really practice. The same as the Muslims, Muslims by name. Why you don't do jihad? Because you don't believe. Why you don't oh, join Al Qaeda very, and ISIS? Because you don't believe. Very nice. So you don't... Okay, so you don't take all the Muslims who they are extreme because they are losers and they are just Muslims by the name, and you say, okay, all the Islam is on this form. You cannot choose truly. Same, same as a Christian a Christianity. It's the same, I think. No, no. You yeah. see, in Islam, the founder of Islam is a scumbag. So, in order to be a follow a, a follow Muslim, you have to follow a scumbag. So, if the best of you is a scumbag, who is the worst of you? In our case, is different. The best of us is going to be a saint or a disciple of Jesus. The best of you is going to be like Muhammad, a child molester, a rapist, a thief. So you cannot say it is the same. Christianity is not easy to follow. Why? Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. In your religion, you can do all kind of sin. Allah forgive everything, including anything in Christianity now. In Islam, all what is required to say shahada. How? Say shahada. You How can be you a homosexual. You, you can be a you, you can be a pedophile. You can be a thief. You can be a, a, a killer. You can be an atheist. Let's say shahada. This is, I think, that that's mercy, kind of, because we are the humans. We cannot be like so pure. How, how it is a mercy? Not. How it is a mercy if it's a destiny anyway? The mercy should happen that Allah forgive everybody, but the forgiveness of Allah is a fraud. Why? Because it was a destiny anyway. So if somebody commits sin, let us say he fornicate, and Allah he force him to fornicate, is he going to go to heaven or to hell according to Islam? Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. Huh? If somebody he step with According the neighbor to Islam, yeah, me? yeah. Oh, the God forgives. Yes, but there is things that what forgive? Hold on. How, why will Allah will be, forgive yeah. you? What's wrong with you? Why Allah will forgive you if He is the one who forced you to commit fornication? What's wrong with this religion? 
So your God, he for force you to sleep with the neighbor wife. And then Allah, he will forgive you because you pray for him. Forgive me, my goodness, Allah, please. Forgive. What the heck is this? If it was a destiny, why you need to be forgiven? Yeah, listen, I mean, the destiny stuff and all these things, it's kind of so complicated when you want to. No, no, it's not complicated. It's in front of you. Stuff, okay? You make it complicated because you decide to be a fool. The second we show you something serious, you say it's complicated. I don't want to think about it. It's like, you know, why we not think how they made the ice cream? Let us eat the ice cream. Well, this is not ice and this is not a cream. This is your God. You are not you are trying to mention two things it's so difficult to even ask about when you say destiny because i told you maybe yesterday if you want to talk about life and earth and in the universe and all this stuff there is things we cannot ask about no we, can. we don't want this no life. we can we, we can, for we this can. Life. no we can you are afraid to face um, you are afraid to face reality because reality is ugly for you you are scared yeah. You're scared. Okay, I have a for last you. time, you, last, okay, okay, okay. last time you spoke to me, you agreed that yes, your God yes, Allah yes. is evil. You agreed. Okay, you forgot. Okay. You agreed that your God Allah is Slightly. evil. Did you agree with me last time that Allah is evil? I think all the things comes from God. Yes, I agree. No, this is what you said. Yeah, we but agree not, that Allah is evil. We showed you how Allah He forced you to do things, and you agree this is evil. I think uh, uh, this life and the destiny and the evil things and all this stuff, it comes originally, the only source is God. And we are just... No, this is not... This, so is, not a, you see, uh, this is not an excuse because I can say, well, God, he created Satan. And if there is no Satan, there is no evil. No, this is wrong. Because in my belief, God, he did not create Satan. God, he created an angel. The angel, okay, okay. he disobeyed God and he decided to become a God by himself. So my God did okay. not create Satan. He created an angel. Same for you. My God, he created Adam to be a good man. Adam chose to be a bad man. So you okay, have so a wrong so you, understanding. Oh. It was not a destiny. And when you believe, okay. when you believe in the okay. Islamic destiny, you just believe that Allah is the devil. Okay, okay, okay. Forget about Islam. There is no Islam. What about Christians? Do you believe in Satan or not? Well, you are Satan. You believe in Satan? I like be there I is Satan? I believe right now Satan is speaking to me. Oh, you mean me? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let, 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 us, let, let me prove it for you. When I ask you why Allah will force you to sleep with someone, and then he will punish you for sleeping with someone. What you said to me? This is complicated. We should not talk about it. But isn't it, this is the answer of a Satan? He don't want me to think. He don't want me to question. Isn't it this is Satan inside you trying to divert the topic because this is will expose his metal, his rust? No. So answer you me then. Why Allah will force me Allah will force me to be Christian. He forced that guy to be an atheist. He forced this guy to be a homosexual. And then this God, this is stupid God, weirdo, he is going to punish me and him and her and him for what? For what he forced us to do. And the top of that, it's a destiny, which means whatever you do, it doesn't count. It is what destiny oh, is made can. for you. Yes, it, kind of, true. Huh? So you agree with me, true. Now Satan is not talking right. inside you. Satan is defeated. A second ago, you yes, were speaking. about that. Okay, so it's true. Satan is Allah. Allah is, okay, you know what? I want to ask you. Why, why the Muslims are the only people who dance in the street for slaughtering other people? Why? Can you give me a reason? 9-11 no, happened, no, no, no. you dance in the street, no, no. Allahu Akbar, you no, give no. candies. Uh, October 7 happened, 
you dance in the street the woman you know when they women do crazy stuff like like the indian the american indian and uh, they jump in the street and they give baklava and candies and it's, why why all muslims they do that when tsunami happened Muslims are the only one who open chat rooms and pal talks celebrating tsunami because they thought they you know the one who died is the people in Thailand. As soon they heard that majority of them they are from Indonesia, they shut down their rooms. The only one celebrate evil is Muslims. Do you know why? Because your God is evil. No, no, it's uh, you take those people who they are supporting by the blood and they're killing them and those stuff. What do you I mean think those people? Can you name for me? Him. Can you name for me the percentage of people who they rejoice for the Jews' death in October seven? Just give me the number. Give me. Be honest with me. How many yeah, of um, your people they were rejoicing? Yeah, and happy? Yeah. Huh? Million. Exactly. Millions. All right. This is the only in your country. Yeah. So billions around the world. You know, all the Muslims. Praising Allah. Yes, for, for us. They were. Yeah. 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 Do you know why they, why the millions? Million. Why yes. millions? Why no millions of a Christian they dance in the street when an earthquake happened in Turkey? No. They are not. You cannot take them as a Muslim, okay? No, they, they are, are just Muslim by no, the No, they are the true Muslims. Don't lie yourself. No, no, but you cannot take those people like Muslims because they my are friend, happy. My friend, because the, you don't understand. No, no, don't you know that the Quran said that when you torture non-Muslims, Allah make your chest happy? No, what, what? You, you mean in the, the verses that speaks about uh, the war when there is war and those doesn't stuff? matter you are you are at war always Muslim are at war always Muslim they want to kill everybody uh, when you are at war since when you are since when you are <laughs> at peace since when huh no 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 you were talking about the verses in the quran the extreme verses speaking uh, talking about like god or allah uh, talking I, I about asked, fighting I, 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 I am i am saying if allah if your god your god your god you know not not i'm not talking about a different one your god do he do he encourage you to dance and to be happy for the death of any non-muslim no. No. Are the you sure? No. What if I show you? Yes, I am sure. One. Come yes. on, show me. Okay. Are you going to leave Islam if yeah. I show you? Yeah. Yeah. If you show me a kaid speaking about to kill the other people for no reason and be happy, yes, I will leave Islam. Is there is a reason to make you dance for the death of other people? You know, in the wars, there is no rules, my friend. All right. In war. In the wars, there so is no are you, So do you approve raping and killing and torturing? Like we we heard of the video of oh, Hamas. What about? Oh, eight, eight, eight of Hamas. Eight Not about nine, Hamas. Hold on. Eight of Hamas raping a woman when she is alive and they cut her breast when she is alive. They have her in the table, her legs is open, and they were raping her one after one. Yeah, and then yeah, one of yeah, them, yeah, he yeah, took yeah, his yeah. knife while he's raping yeah, her, and he cut her breast, and she's bleeding all the blood over him. And then after they finish with her, they dump her in the street. Is that approved in the Quran, yes or no? No, that's not in the Quran. They are not even Muslim. They are not even humans. They all are right. monsters. So is torture approved in the Quran? Yeah. Is torturing people approved in the Quran, yes or no? Torturing people truly Listen, I told you and I am telling you again without no reason there is no verse in the Quran speaking so about I am, go and I, kill the I other am, people and torture So them now I am at war with you and I have a million reason Is it okay to take your nails and to rape your wife and to put needles in your anus and to take your teeth one by one and to take your nails one oh. by one 
Is that okay? Wait, wait, wait. You are trying to make... Okay, okay. You are trying to make this life like so perfect. Look to the World War II. They are not even Muslim. I'm not More talking, than 100 I'm not million about, persons. Uh, you they, see, they you are... Killed. Exactly. You are comparing, your, you are comparing have, yourself. You are comparing, yes. to, you are okay, comparing yourself to... You are comparing yourself to Hitler. No, I'm, Saying, I am the same as Hitler. Is Hitler better? Well, Hitler, he likes Islam. Hitler, he says Christianity is a problem. No, no, no. They, what, what, the Americans, what the Americans did to a German when they go to invasion and, and fighting the Germans, well, they say what the they German, have done. The American, they fought against the German who they were killing everybody who opposed them. They were fascist, Nazi. Okay. They, oh. were, they well, were not. They there were is not, no good. They were, were not siding. It's you Muslims. It's you Muslims. It is you Muslim who side with Hitler. Is it true? What? Is it true that you Muslims you fought? Repeat the question. Is it true that you Muslim you fought in the side of Hitler? No, it's not. Are you sure? There is many countries in the Middle East who they was like you can say with Hitler, but they are not even Muslims. We don't take them as like Muslims. Was okay. okay. Do, do do Muhammad support what Hitler did, killing every Jew? Of course, it's not because we don't have the right to kill the okay. Jews. Let, in, like, let, let, me, no let, let me let me repeat my let me repeat my question again. Do your prophet support killing every Jew like Hitler? Yes or no? No. What if I show you? Come on, show me. All right. If you uh, if you are talking after the death of Muhammad when Abu Bakr he like uh, waged the war against guys, the Jews Muhammad, there, yes, are you talking about war, after the war. death of? I just said to him, Muhammad. He said, he said after the death of Muhammad. <laughs> All right. No. Oh, okay. Uh, even Muhammad, yeah, yeah, there, there was like uh, a war between the Jews and the Muslims, and the Muslims they no, fight I the, said to the you, Jews. I said to you, you. Yeah. I yeah. said to you, do you do Hitler, do Muhammad, uh, support King every single Jew like Hitler, Muhammad? Do he support King every single Jew like Muhammad? You said no, but you're a prophet. He support that, and he command the Muslims. Read, read for me. Let me show you the screen. Read. This is your prophet saying it clearly mm -hmm. that he he's mm -hmm. Hitler. He support killing every single Jew. Hmm? That's a hadith. Ah, uh, so what? This is Sahih, authentic, Al Bukhari. Very authentic. Okay, it's like wait, wait, it's like a prophecy. What prophecy? You the are... duty of the Muslims is to kill every single Jew in this earth. Almost when there is a Jew hiding back. Oh, you're talking about the prophecy. Ah. In the beginning of the end of the world, okay. the day of judgment. So why you Muslims? Akhira. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. guys, it's a prophecy. So why Muhammad is telling you the plan yes, of Allah? That's... Prophecy is the plan of Allah. To kill every single no. Jew by the hand of the Muslims. Why? Yeah. What? Yeah. Yes, there is truly there is a prophecy. Yeah, yeah, there is a prophecy in uh, Islam talking about why, why, the big why? War okay, the truly, truly. Time uh, uh, Mr. Truly. You. Hatem, don't troll me. I don't so know. why Allah? God plan my. Why Allah? He yeah. want to kill every single Jew. Every single a Jew, a young, a child, a woman, a Jew hide behind the tree. Even the tree will say, hey, there's a Jewish behind me, kill him. I don't know truly, but there is verses in the Quran that speaks about the Jews, like uh, they were so great people and the God preferred them above all the human humanity, but they did something and all this stuff, they try... Like they are sinners and this stuff. Yes, true. Well, the, the the biggest sinner in the world I know is the Muslims, child molesters, thieves, criminals, liars, cheaters. You you live in the Middle East. You go to the butcher to buy beef. 
they give you dogs uh, uh, food <laughs> meat you go to the grocery you buy tomato half of it goes to the garbage because they select the bad ones they put them in the bomb and they put the good ones in the top to fool you you go to buy a house you buy the house after yep. a few years they, you have tons of cracks because the contractor is a cheater the the uh, if you say one true word the secret police will arrest you the, the government will will kidnap you the judge is corrupt if you are a, if if you a thief come to your house and the thief he pay the judge you will be arrested and the thief will be laughing at you so how they are sinners oh correct yes 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 all okay, the true, correct, but, but in israel yes, in israel right now netanyahu himself is going to face the consequences of corruption in your country when the last time there is yeah. somebody he faced the consequences of corruption the whole country is corrupt This is not but, but you know that the this Jews, is not they, they even have, have him. This is not they have the same right now. He is a prime minister, which means he have the highest authority in Israel. Even he is, he is under investigation. Yeah, and he is going to go to jail soon. This is Israel, the land you are saying they are sinners. Yeah. Hmm. All right. No, I didn't say they are sinners. You I, say saw, that. I said there is verses speaking about them in the old era. Yes. Ah, ah the old era. Ah. Yeah, I agree with you. They are sinners mm -hmm. at that time. They were fool. They they gave Muhammad a refugee. This is what happened when you invite a dog to your house. Yeah. A dog with rabies, he bite you, he kill you. So they allow Muhammad to live in their city. And then this coward, he betrayed them and he killed them all. They gave him refugee. They opened their city for them. They did not kill him. When he came, he was just a few people with him. They can kill him easy if they are evil. But they did not harm him. They invited him. They welcomed him. Then what he did, he started them all. <clears throat> sure. All right, Hatim. Thank you very much for joining us today. Guys, I wish I can continue with you, but as you see, my voice is going bad.